I'm talking blood, Quellborn. I'm talking under my own roof. An axe murderer. He's got your number now. I saw everything. He knows just what you've done. Everything you did to a boyfriend. You've got no place to hide. I saw you chopping. You've got nowhere to run. It's true. I chopped him up, but I didn't kill him. He knows your life apart. Come to the police. I think it's supper time. <laughs> come on, come on. Think about all those offers. Come on, come on. Your future with Audrey. Come on, come on. Ain't no time to turn squinties. Come on. I swear on all my spores. When he's gone, the world will be yours. Yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Krellborn, it kills me doing this. But considering you're almost like a son to me, I'm thinking maybe we don't have to go to the police. You don't? I'm thinking. What if I kept my mouth shut and gave you a one way ticket out of town? You do that, sir? You could lay low for a while, say 30, 40 years. Meanwhile, I would keep the plant. Plant? Of course. You'd have to teach me how to take care of it while you're away. Give me your secret gardening tips. But then, if you'd rather hang... What do I have to do? Just feed it. Just feed it what? Oh. Minerals? Yes. Thursdays, you should give it water. Oh, yes. But whatever you do... Yes? Whatever you do. Yeah. What the hell is, sir? Wait, 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 wait. Seymour Krell burns so finely we meet you. What an occasion. Let's toast it up yours. Relax. Cigarette. Let's talk turkey. Sign here.